DJI have given us a new firmware update for this, the DJI RC2 screen controller, and from what I can see, it's an update that absolutely nobody asked for. Well, you might find it useful, who knows. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install it, what it is, and go for a flight with a DJI drone, just to make sure that this controller is doing everything as it should. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So when we first turn our controller on, you're going to see there is a new firmware update for the DJI RC2. This is version 06000200 and it has added the screen lock feature and fixed some known issues. Now this is just for the DJI RC2, not for the original RC screen controller. This is just a unique feature for the DJI RC2. So what we're going to do is head back to our home screen and we're just going to hit install and basically this as you can see is quite a large file so it's going to take a short while to download and install so I would suggest that you do it while you're at home on your home Wi-Fi rather than using it on your mobile phone for example just to make it that little bit quicker and of course to alleviate any usage issues you might have on your mobile data okay so I've just started my screen recording initially after it has actually restarted and I'm not even going to go look through all the menus or even take a drone on at this point I've got a funny feeling I know exactly what this is going to be so what I'm going to do is just scroll down from the top of the screen and just see if there's anything there and nothing here looks to have changed that's just yep yeah, there it is <laughs> I just had a feeling it was going to be something to do with this so as you can see this is a screen lock now if we tap that unfortunately it does look like the interface seems to be pretty basic and it's not really given as much information as to how this works so let's just try and figure it out so what I'm going to do is just tap this right here and just assume that that's what we're supposed to do because it's not very clear what the instructions actually are so let's just go ahead and put a password in of course it does have to be over eight characters contain a capital and a special character so I'm just going to use password one exclamation mark that'll do for the purpose of this and it's going to ask me to enter it again so i'm going to go ahead and enter that password again da, 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 da. And that is now successful. So that's brilliant. So that's the password actually set. Right then, guys. So I have actually decided to just go pick this back up on location because I want to go take a drone out just to make sure that the controller is doing what it should and connecting and working and everything else. So we're now out on location. So let's just go ahead and just turn the controller back on and just see what happens. Okay. So. I'll just move this on a little bit more. So as the controller turns on, as you can see, it's going to prompt us now on screen for that screen unlock password. Okay, so yeah, that's worked exactly how I thought it was going to work. This screen lock is actually just a password feature. So when you turn the controller on, it's going to prompt you to enter the password that you've set to enable any functionality. Now trying to swipe down on the actual screen uh, just to set a screen recording, it will not work. Literally, the full functionality is locked out. So there's no way I can do a screenshot, screen recording, or access any data on this controller whatsoever. Okay. Okay. Now, just to reiterate, maybe I think I just glossed past it, okay? Uh, when you do set a password, if you do forget that password and you have it locked, you have to do a full reset on this controller. There is no ability to reset the password without just doing a full factory reset, which it did warn we're going to lose all our logs and uh, photos or anything stored on the controller. So just be aware of that. So now we've established exactly what that screen lock does. What we're going to do now is just go out for a test flight. I've chosen to go out with the DJI Flip. This drone is no for not being the best in the wind uh, it's sort of universally known however I've had some fantastic experiences and I've not really struggled but you know just to be on the safe side we're just going to open up drone companion on our phone and as you can see uh, we're just going to check the weather the flying conditions assessment looks absolutely fine okay the wind speeds are more within within parameters for the DJI flip if I do scroll down to the winds at altitudes they're looking good as well we're not going to struggle when we do fly it that little bit 
bit higher and of course if we do sort of check the compass and wind direction um, which of course is interactive so if I do turn my phone it shows us the position relative to the way that I'm facing that the wind is coming and we can see exactly where the sort of wind is coming from so what I'm going to do is when I do start my flight just make sure that I take off and fly in the direction of the wind just to make sure that there are going to be no problems getting this drone back to the home point so let's go ahead and take off with the DJI flip then uh, which could to immediately get some altitude because we are on a bit of a sort of river stroke canal there's plenty of beds around so I want to get straight out the way of those before they see this DJI flip as a target so we're just going to head out making forward momentum and uh, just capture some footage and I've not even bothered to put a memory card in the drone so we are pretty limited to what we can record um, but ultimately we're just sort of testing functionality at this stage and making sure that everything will work exactly as it's supposed to so we're just going to go ahead and stop right there and we'll just uh, take a photo and as you can see that is taking that photo absolutely perfectly fine so we've taken that photo so let's just try one of my favorite moves which of course you may know if you're familiar with the channel is a droney quick shot these are absolutely fantastic for doing a sort of landscape reverse reveal shot without you having to manually fly it so all we're going to do is just line the drone up with this building draw a box around it of course we've selected our droney quick shot we're going to go ahead and hit execute or go whichever you want go start bon voyage drone and then as you can see it's just going to perform that quick shot which does a really nice as i've mentioned landscape reveal okay so that's always good and as you can see that's now completed so let's just fly it along we're going to get a little bit more speed because we've got the wind sort of behind us and we'll try a simple should we just try a spotlight where we just selected a target and then just moving the stick to the right for a nice circular panning shot and that looks absolutely lovely let's just try a point of interest point of interest is a great tool again of course if we just select a box around here what we can do is just use the arrow either move an arrow slightly or all the way and it will affect the speed with which it does this sort of orbit and of course if you do want we can go one way or you don't even need to stop the drone or cancel the point of interest if you want you can just slide your finger across there back to the other way and the drone will actually just come to a, a slow stop and start to go the other way so that's absolutely perfect so i think for this flight i will just take a little bit of a trip out and just test the return to home feature we always like to make sure that that's doing uh, what it should so let's just go ahead and again fly in the direction of the wind just so again we've always got the wind behind us to ensure we can return to home safely just in case there was any gusts even though obviously i'd checked drone companion earlier and we're sort of well within limitations i'm going to go ahead and hit that return Center home button on the screen and I do actually have the AR home point active on this drone okay which is really nice feature uh, on some of the DJI's latest drones basically when you hit that return to home it shows the exact path the drone is actually going to take so as you can see we're just sort of rising up to our predetermined altitude of 80 meters and then of course making forward momentum back to the home point I'll just speed this up a little bit just to make it that little bit quicker and once again as we are coming down just the same advice I always give on my channel is return to home is a great safety feature just to get you back and catch your bearings I would always suggest that as that drone is you know a few meters off the ground just cancel that return to home and land it manually and that of course is the end of the test so what do you think to that update? The screen lock is certainly an interesting feature indeed and please do let me know in the comment section below whether it's something you think you will find useful. I suppose it could come in handy if your drone does get stolen but at that point is somebody really going to bring it back to you because they can't access the controller? I very much doubt it but still the function has been introduced. Of course we've gone out for a flight with the DJI Flip, the controller is performing exactly as it should so no issues there. So I would say this is a decent update to install i am curious as to the size of the update does make me wonder what on earth dji have changed in the background but ultimately for the front end anyway it seemed to work exactly as it should if you are interested in the brief screenshots i showed you for drone companion please do go check it out it will be linked in the video description it's one of the best apps i have come across as a drone flyer and you get a 24 hour free trial so do go check that out so if you found this video useful please do give it a big thumbs up it tells youtube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch my content subscribe if you're awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.